group is based on joint work with uh, Professor Shijongwa and uh, we always work over C. Um, let X be a uh, Mm, non-degenerate projective variety and yeah I exclude the X is PR and dimension is denoted by N and E is co-dimension of X and D is degree of X and H is a general hyperplane section on X. Then there are two natural there are two natural link associated to this projective variety. The first one is the homogeneous coordinate ring where S is a homogeneous coordinate ring of PR and Rx is the uh, section ring of O1 Okay, and so we can regard these two ring as a finitely generated graded this S module. And these two rings are connected by a short exact sequence. And the regularity of the homogeneous coordinate ring of X is regularity of X minus 1. Actually, yeah, this regularity of variety is by definition the regularity of ideal ship and the regularity of sectioning is equal to the regularity of structure ship. Okay. And I'll give a quick property of the regularity. If the regularity of a homogeneous coordinate ring is less than or equal to k. That means the DG, the higher graded piece of these two rings are coincide for all m. And second. One can easily check that the regularity of a homogeneous coordinate ring is less than or equal to k if and only if x is k normal and the regularity of a section ring is less than or equal to k. And there is a big conjecture, regularity conjecture due to Eisenberg and Goto. The regularity of X is a regularity of homogeneous coordinate ring is bounded by degree minus codimension plus one. 
and I give a quick review about non result the first one is due to Castellobo Paul Space Cup and later Grujong Rajaspelt and Peskin uh, if X is a curve, then the regularity conjecture hold, and in Uthong box, in Uthong box talk, they also classify the extremal case. So regularity X attain the maximum, then X is a plane curve or a rational normal curve or an elliptic normal. Or a rational curve with degree is equal to co-dimension plus 2 or a rational curve with extremal sequent line okay and as far as uh, I know the next two, two extremal case the classification of next two, two extremal case is unknown. And yeah, their result hold for every integral curve. But in higher dimensional case, uh, yeah, there are only pure result for smooth projective varieties. So, in second case, due to pink comb for some small co-dimension case and larger felt for general, if X is a uh, dimension two and or dimension two and smooth. Then the regularity conjecture hold, but in this case there is no classification of extremal case. And the third one due to Shijongak. Uh, if uh, dimension is small and X is smooth, then he obtained a slightly weaker result. Namely, the regularity is bounded by d minus e plus 1 plus some constant independent of the degree. And very recently, these two people construct, constructed a counterexample. Actually, there are many counterexamples to this regularity conjecture. And moreover, they show that in, in general, if x is not smooth, in general, the regularity is not bounded by polynomial of degree d, polynomial function of degree. Actually, if x is smooth by one port, 
we know that regularity is bounded by dimension plus one times degree, but in general, it cannot be bounded by polynomial function. So the smooth case are still open. Yeah. Okay. So from now on, we assume that x is uh, smooth. Okay. Then uh, the first theorem I want to say is the re regularity of structure ship. Actually, we show that the regularity of structure ship is bounded by d minus e when x is smooth. And we can also classify the extremal case when only if x is a hypersurface or it is linearly normal and degree is bounded by e plus 2. And we also classify the next to extremal case. So the x is on isomorphic projection of the variety in second item at one point or x is linearly normal and degree is equal to dimension plus 3 or it is a complete intersection of type 2, 3. And in, in this case, degree is 6 and co-dimension is 2, so degree is equal to co-dimension plus 4. And Yeah, two. Yeah, I just say the main ingredient of this theorem is positivity, double point divisor, due to assessing norma. Actually, he showed that. Uh, this type of divisor is semi-ample except a few cases. So so using Bodaira vanishing theorem we can prove the sharp regularity for structure ship except for few cases and to attack these few cases we also use the Castello boss bound bound on sectional genus And I also remark that um, we can check 
we can check that all varieties appears in this theorem satisfy Eisenberg good conjecture and moreover there is a complete classification the complete classification of yeah, actually smooth projective variety uh, with degree is equal to e plus 3 due to Telpetro, Eretini, and Fujita, and UNESCO, and so on. So, yeah, we have a complete classification for the extremal and next to extremal cases. So, now we consider the actually we prove the sharp upper bound for regularity of structure shape we consider the lower bound for the regularity of structure shape and first note that there is no linear lower bound in terms of degree because um, yeah, the rational smooth rational curve in P3 can have Really large degree. So, yeah. So maybe there is no good lower bound involving degree and co dimension. So, I think the lower bound of OX should be 1 and we can easily classify the extremal case if regularity of OX is 1 then it is uh, second Veronese embedding of P2 or P5 or a uh, rational scroll or a quadric hypersurface actually yeah, this low, lower bound is EJ so I give a quick proof of the second item so, so actually, this direction is EJ exercise so I just prove this direction um, yeah recall that yeah the regularity of structure ship is one then this implies that the top cohomology is zero and by set duality if regularity of OX is 1 then the H0 of KX plus N minus 1 H is 0 and recall a classical theorem if this 
divisor uh, is not base point free, not base point free, then there is a classification for this case. This, this polarized pair is isomorphic to Pn or Pn1 or the hyperquadric or P2 2 or scroll over a cup and that's all so yeah if, if kx plus n minus 1 h is 0 then kx plus n minus 1 h is not base point pre then xh should be one of them and the this regularity condition also implies that the irregularity is zero. So the classification easily follows from yeah. You can easily check that among these which variety which pairs are So, um, yeah, as a as a corollary, we can also prove that the regularity of X is at least two, and we can also classify the extremal case. or rational normal scroll actually the regularity of x is 2 then it immediately implies that x is a projectively normal so we can choose which are projectively normal quadric hypersurface. So, yeah, the aim of today is generalize this uh, result to the uh, next two extremal case. The regularity of structure shift is equal to 2. And note that the, since we are working in characteristic 0, so uh, the regularity of structure shift is less than or equal to 2, is equivalent to showing the following Depending of these three cohomology group, Okay, and but the the problem is that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a non-degenerate and smooth, smooth projective variety. This one? Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. And uh, but number two is uh, we should assume smoothness. Yes, because there are some maybe non smooth examples. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. Actually, there is a classification of two regularity case for non smooth varieties. Yeah. But anyway, I assume smooth, smoothness. Uh, anyway, there are too many, in some sense, too many examples to classify for variety with two regular structure shape. I give a any examples? The first one, actually, <coughs> we are only interested in the regularity of structure shape. So this is essentially to classify the polarized pair. And this first example is curve, smooth projective curve with non-special variant line bundle. Actually, almost all curves with variant line bundle satisfy this condition. Number, number two is the curve over arbitrary curve. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Here, over yeah, curve. yeah. For, yeah for scroll any, over any curve. For any genus. Huh? Yeah, for any genus. Because we have all considered the addition of normal square. Yeah, yeah. So for any yeah, yeah. But yeah, this this uh, vanishing implies that <coughs> the base should be rational. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and the second smooth any smooth projective surface with. P G equal to zero and sufficiently ample, sufficiently positive line bundle. Also, too regular. Actually, this sufficiently positive means uh, this first cohomology vanish. Third one, so some projectivized bundle with tautological line bundle where E is a very ample vector bundle on a curve with H1 vanish or uh, very ample vector bundle uh, on a surface with p j equal to zero and h one is also zero. Then. This example also two regular structure shape and also we consider vector bundle on a curve a very ample vector bundle on a curve with H1 is zero and let pi be a canonical projection then we choose a 
general member in linear system 2L plus D is any divisor on curve and L is a tautological line bundle on PE. Then this pair also satisfy this condition. And also finally, I will also say the Delpecho, Delpecho manifold. In smooth case, Delpecho manifold means the anti-canonical divisor is equal to n minus one times hyperplane section. Okay. So actually, there are complete there is a complete classification of smooth Delpecho manifold due to Fujita, but it seems almost impossible to classify all varieties in this item. But we can show that uh, these examples are or almost all. Actually, regularity of OX is less than equal to 2. Then, uh, actually, we already classify the uh, regularity is one case, or this example, these five examples, and there is one more exception, actually, the adjunction map. The adjunction mapping, I will denote it by phi. Uh, this is a map. defined by complete linear system of kx plus n minus 1h. And is uh, the sixth item is birational. And the first reduction, p and h bar, is one of these following. Except this example, if regularity of OX is equal to 2, then the adjunction mapping should be a bidirectional morphism. And the first reduction is one of these four varieties. So this, this, uh, this means that X is obtained by some blow up of these four varieties. Okay. Now I give a sketch of the proof. Yeah, as in the as in the previous case, 
we also use a uh, standard result in adjunction theory. Okay. Uh, we already saw the case when kx plus m minus 1 is not base point free. Actually, there is a complete classification. So we assume we assume that kx plus m minus 1 h is base point free. Then we can define the adjunction mapping. Okay. Then there is a very important theorem due to Sommeje, Van de Ben, and Ionesk. Actually, Sommeje and Van de Ben independently prove this theorem for surface case and later Ionesk generalize. There are only four cases according to the dimension of base. Uh, there are no intermediate dimension and if dimension is zero then x is a terpetro manifold if dimension is one then adjunction mapping gives a hyperquadric vibration over a base. Yeah, actually, it is also shown that P is always smooth. And pi is a linear vibration over a surface. And pi is pi-rational. Then yeah, actually all example in one, two, three, four, five appear in the first three items. So we only consider that in the item four then either of six hold in our assumption. Yeah, we always assume that x is two. And in I tempo, then six hold or The first reduction on first reduction KB plus M minus 2H bar is semi ample. And the KB plus H bar is not zero. But we can show that this one is equal to this one and two regularity implies that this one should be vanishing so the only six can occur I recall a particular case of Lomas theorem 
about the sharp regularity pull curve. Uh, so this is a particular case. If C is a uh, non-degenerate uh, smooth projective curve. Genus G and assume that the O one is non special and the co dimension is bigger than or equal to genus plus one, then by extending GLP argument, Noma proved that the regularity is bounded by D minus E plus 1 minus G. Unless C is linearly normal. Actually, um, when C is linearly normal, the regularity of C is equal to 2. No, the regularity is 3, but this number, degree minus E plus 1 minus G, is 2. So we have to exclude linearly normal case. But anyway, the regularity of C is bounded by smaller number. And yeah, we can extend Luhmann's theorem to yeah to the two regular case, so x is non-degenerate, uh, smooth projective variety, and we assume that the regularity of OX is less than or equal to 2, and H1 OX is zero. Yeah, we assume that dimension is at least two. Yeah. Actually this proof also works for dimension one case without this assumption this assumption. Uh, then if Co-dimension is at least two three plus one. Then the same statement holds. Only x is linearly normal. Yeah, this on this case is also same. The regularity is three, but this number is two. Yeah. I give a quick proof for this theorem by duality between Betty numbers and Green's vanishing theorem. We can show that the minimal free resolution sectioning is of the following form yeah, we can assume that X is not linearly normal and then the sectioning the minimal 
minimal free re resolution of uh, section link is of, of this form. Then by simplifying this sequence and apply the Grujon Rajasfeld Peskin's technique, then we get this regularity bound. The, the the point is that um, uh, we can actually under this condition we can control the minimal pre resolution of uh, section link. Then this minimal pre resolution of uh, section link control the Castello of for the regularity of X. Finally, we further consider the petty diagram of section link. So, yeah, we also assume that the regularity of OX is two, and the irregularity is zero. And consider the embedding of a complete linear system. And yeah, we also assume that degree of x is sufficiently large. And consider an isomorphic projection to PR. And we also assume that this projection is sufficiently general. And we also consider the general curve section and each genus is denoted by G. Then the Betty diagram oops, of section link in here is the following Previously, the first in first row, the first entry is one, and the other entry should be zero. And yeah, In the second row, in the second row, the non-vanishing part goes to the this step. And the, there are some Okay. In the last row, the vanishing part goes to this step and the other parts are non-vanishing. And I briefly say, yeah, the first row 
is trivial and yeah, the non-vanishing of the second row, this part, is uh, essentially due to by our general assumption, this curve actually uh, this curve lies in some rational scroll and yeah, by this uh, condition we can show that the non vanishing of this part and yeah, this the vanishing part is uh, due to Eisenberg, Ein and Rajasfeld Gonality theorem. For applying their result, we need sufficiently high degree condition. And yeah, as we saw before, this vanish part is due to Green's vanishing theorem and some duality argument. And we can direc directly yeah, argue that the non vanishing of this part. Okay, I, I stop here. Thank you.